It shows us Jesus is showing us a way so different from the world's way. And I'm sure even I myself, while reading and meditating on this, it's, it's really tough to understand because the way of the world is different. The way of man is basically different. Jesus says here uh, to us, he said, love your enemies, bless them who curse you, do good to them that hate you, pray for them who despitefully use you and persecute you. It's so different from the world system because in the world system, in the world's mindset, you know, you always have to fight for your rights. But Jesus is showing us an entirely different attitude. And it's, um, I'm sure none of us, you know, uh, is ready to, to subscribe to this kind of, to uh, this kind of policy of life, you know, giving way to our enemies. We will always want to fight back. But you, have you, ever, have you ever thought of why Jesus was so confident of his status? You know, let's take our Savior for example. He's our best example because, you know, even though he's God, he's the most powerful, he's the Almighty, but yet he would subject himself to the worst kind of, uh, of torment and torture, to slap in the face and, you know, to ultimately nail on the cross. When he was before Pilate, he said, I, you know, I know where I stand because I can always call chariots and legions of angels to, 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 uh, to defend me. Somehow, Jesus has trained himself to see beyond what these eyes can see. You know, in the Old Testament reading, uh, we can see it there that, you know, that that the enemies were struck with blindness. And in, for, for in many ways, we all here are really blind to the spiritual things. We, we have not yet trained ourselves to, to see beyond what we see in the physical. Somehow, our prayer should be, Lord, open my eyes that I may see what is truly real. Just like what Elisha did pray for his servant, he said, open his eyes. And when the Lord opened the eyes of the servant, he saw uh, myriads of chariots on their side. You know, many, many angels that on, on their side. In fact, if we see beyond what our eyes can see, and even if our enemies go against us, we will be so confident. Because we really know we have a backer spiritually that we, that, you know, uh, myriads and myriads of chariots on our side. So if we see that we will not be uh, intimidated of what others do, because we know our place. Amen? Amen. We will, you, you, Jesus is saying this, be perfect as your Father who is in heaven is perfect. In other words, imitate God. In closing this uh, small reflection, it's a challenge for us to really be like Christ. I'm not saying that you know you go out and uh, be a, you be, have this martyr syndrome, you know, uh, just being trampled around and being a normal. No, it's more of an attitude that we have because we are confident where we stand. We are not intimidated what others do, but we will be. Uh, exuding with kindness to others, you know, whether it's just the, the, the clerk in the grocery store, whether it's the, the one who, uh, who clean cars or anybody, we would just be so full of kindness. One of the fruit of the Spirit is kindness. Because we know where we stand and even though people take advantage of us or uh, go against us, we know where we stand and we would just bring forth kindness because of the Lord. I know you have your Bibles. Open your Bibles to Philippians chapter 2. Philippians chapter 2. In closing this uh, home again, I can share, I'd like us to read this. Verse 5. Philippians 2 verse 5. Have this attitude in yourself that was also in Christ Jesus who, although he existed in the form of God, did not require, regard equality with God, a thing to be grasped, 
but emptied himself, taking the form of a bond servant and being made in the likeness of man. And being found in appearance as man, he humbles him, himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on the cross. Therefore, God, also God, God highly exalted him and bestowed on him a name which is above every name. And that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow and up of those who are in heaven and on earth and under, under the earth. And that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. So my beloved, just as you have been always obeyed, not only in my presence, but now much more in my absence, work out your salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God who is at work in you, both to will and to work his good pleasure. So have this attitude that was also in Christ Jesus. May, may this be a, 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 you know, the thing that we grow in our lives, uh, we be more and more like Christ. Being more like the Father, 